Here is how you can broadcast to thousands of customers on WhatsApp using Spur. All right. So in order to run a broadcast, you need three things. First of all, you need to create a message template and get that approved by WhatsApp. Second, you need to create a segment of all the customers you want to send the broadcast to. And thirdly, you actually need to make that broadcast and just send it. Awesome. So let's go to step one and create our template. So we go to marketing tools and then we go to message templates. Then we click on create template. We have a lot of kind of templates here. We have a separate video on how to create each template. Either you can find it in the link below or you can find it in our playlist. All right. For the demo purposes, we are going to create a limited time offer. And let's say we are a jewelry brand and we want to announce a new necklace that we are launching. And we want to also, you know, give a coupon to customers uh, using which they can avail a discount. So that's why we are using limited time offer template. All right. So let's give it a name necklace launch 2 and the language is English that's fine let's click on create awesome now this is the edit template um, we are basically you know entering all the text that will go in the template itself the selecting the header so the header can be let's say an image or a video or we can just you know leave it empty but let's let's use an image here you know make it more interesting then limited time offer title so it can only be 60 characters so let's write here Royal necklace. That's the name of the necklace. And then in the body, I've already <laughs> made a copy. So I'll just, you know, copy paste. I can use this to expand it. Perfect. So the copy is fine. Now let's say instead of saying dear valued customer, I want to say their name. So what I'll do is I'll select this, I'll remove it and I'll add a variable. And uh, basically this one variable will now be added. And we can replace this variable with the customer's name and make it more personalized. So one thing unique about, you know, these templates is limited time offer templates is that you can add a button. They can click on it and copy the coupon code that you're giving. And then they can click on the second button, go to the website and use that coupon code. Right. So um, we will, you know, specify the image that we want to use when we run the broadcast. We will specify the website link that we want to send to when we run the broadcast so that we are going to do uh, at that time only so i'll just you know quickly submit it for review perfect and now it has gone to whatsapp and whatsapp will let me know <laughs> when it gets reviewed perfect i can go to marketing templates again and check the status it's pending usually it gets approved within seconds so let's say if i refresh Still pending. Let's refresh once again. Pending. All right. Cool. And it's approved. Awesome. Let's now create our segment, the second step. Let's go to database, then go to segments and click on create segment. So let's start from scratch. And let's say we want to send this broadcast to all the customers who have placed at least one order with us and they have bought a necklace before. So the chances of them buying a necklace again is like higher. So I'll click on select a category. We have a lot of options here. Once again, we have another video on how to use the segment feature of Spur and create any segment that you want. You can find the link here or go to our playlist. And uh, let's say the segment we want to create for that, we'll go to shopping events. Then we'll click on has placed an order and we'll select at least once over all time. So now it gives me all the customers who have at least placed one order with us. Then I'll go to this filter. I'll select product. Then I'll select is, and then I can select which product they have bought before. So let's say I can select here, you know, dainty gold necklace. Now no one has purchased this. So that's why it's saying zero here. But if I change it to seven chakra blazer, it will tell me that, okay, five people have purchased this over all time and I can create a segment for them. So uh, I'm not going to create any segment now because I'll send this template to myself. So yeah, now let's head over to the third step and that is running the broadcast. So I'll go to message broadcast. Then I'll click on new broadcast. I'll select the template we just created. Now we are going to give the details for the template. So let's give the broadcast a name. So let's say necklace. launch to then I'll select the photo 
we want to upload i'll say necklace uh, png the one i created and then there is another thing with limited time templates is that you can you know expire this coupon code this button so i can say let's say fourth so only you know this coupon code they will only be able to click it and copy it until fourth may after fourth may it will expire and no one will be able to you know click on this button and copy the coupon code so that's that's like a unique feature so keep that in mind this you have to set here so then let's say instead of one we'll say the customer's first name so i'll click on add a variable variable type customer and first name perfect so you know instead of one here the customer's first name will go but we can you know also add let's say i'll go to once again customer's first name i can also add a fallback let's say the customer's first name does not exist for any reason i can just say here there so or maybe dear customer yeah so if their name does not exist then customer word will go so the system is that smart all right now we'll say the coupon code that we want to send here so let's say we say we send the coupon code offer 10 and then the link to which we want to send them to i'll just copy and paste our website link here let's save it and go to the next step which is the settings we can click here or we can click here it will take to the same step i'll click here all right and now we have to select the template we have to select the segment we created to which we want to broadcast this to so for the demo i'll just you know i'll i have a you know, test segment for our team which is this segment so i'll just select that and awesome So now we have six contacts and either we can send it right away or schedule it for later i'm going to send it right away and just click on send now perfect so the broadcast is now running and because the contacts list was so small so it must be finished within seconds so let's say if i just refresh perfect now it is finished it has been delivered to six people and uh, yeah i i have received I've just received the message on my phone. So let me show you how it looks like in the shared inbox. So I'll go to my chat here. So now this is my chat. Perfect. All right. Now this is looking great. Now let me just, you know, take a screenshot of this and send it in the chat here how it looks like. Perfect. So yeah. this is how it looks like in my phone so i have this button here copy offer code here it says ends tomorrow at 12 am so tomorrow 12 am this will you know just expire and here is the code also so they can see the code here and they can click here to copy the code also so let's go back here now i'll copy the coupon code and i'll click on start shopping in spur you'll get to see that your customer has clicked on the button then you 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 get to track everything what they're doing etc and let's say if i place an order so let me just you know place the order so buy it now so i'm just checking out i'll enter my details perfect and i'll actually complete the purchase so let's say i'll just do a cod order complete purchase perfect all right so as you can see the checkout got completed and i also got the cod confirmation message and if we go back to the broadcast here we will also be able to see that a sale has come so it takes like it is updated every 5 minutes all right perfect so as you can see the sale has already been attributed so we can see we got one orders this is how much the order was worth and i can simply click here and go to shopify and actually see all the orders that came because of this broadcast we also have another video where we are explaining uh, all the analytical part of the broadcast so you'll find that in below or in our playlist as well so i clicked on this button and now it is showing me the order that i got here is the order and yeah that's it hopefully you got to learn how you can broadcast to your customers one thing you have to keep in mind is you know uh, if you go to your settings and then you go to whatsapp you can see your messaging limit your messaging limit tells you in a day how many unique people you can reach out to so this is the number so let's say when you are creating the segment make sure the segment size is 
less than this so that you are able to run the broadcast otherwise we'll tell you that your segment is greater than your messaging limit and you have to create the segment again all right awesome so yeah thanks a lot for watching and see you later